Hello, my beautiful angel bestie reading queens. I hope that you're having the most wonderful day of your entire stinking life. My name is Tori. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Today, we're doing just a quick video. I have to update a bunch of spreads in my bullet journal, so I figured why not do it with y'all and make it a fun time. And it's kind of like a how I use my reading journal type video, but we're also going to be setting up my Romanticiathon spread because the day that this video is going up, it is the first day of the readathon and I am so excited. Okay, so that first spread you saw, I just forgot to color in a book on my bookshelves and I color in my bookshelves according to genre. So January was a lot of fantasy and romance books. And now I'm updating my series tracker. I started at the end of January, the series called Mercenaries and Magic by Alessa Thorne and absolutely devoured it. It was just a smutty fantasy romance time and all of the books were like 250 pages. I found it on Kindle Unlimited and highly recommend. Next up, I get a lot of questions about how I size and print out the book covers that I use in my journal. So I just figured I would go over the process here. I use Procreate, which you do have to pay for. It's like a one-time purchase of, I think, $10, and then you just have it forever. I will say if you want a free option to size book covers for your journal, you can use Canva, and I'm sure that it's super easy. I just use Procreate because it's what I'm used to. So I insert the book cover as a picture, then I resize it according to how I need it sized, and that's how I print it out. So I've printed these book covers because I need to update my five star reads of 2023. I had four five star reads in January. I loved them all. They were all so good and all very different from each other. And then I also printed out two additional covers to update my favorite book of January and then update my Confused Queens book club spread, which our January book was Stolen Air. My books by type spread you will notice on the spread my math doesn't math that's because the four audiobooks that i listened to this month i was also reading along the with the physical book and so i did count those books twice however my total number is just 13 even though if you add up the other columns it would equal 17. it makes sense to me and this is my journal so don't judge me then i just had to glue in the cover of stolen air on my book club page i was basically taking notes on that book as I was reading through it for our live show and stuff. And then I have to fill out my favorite book of January, which was Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. The way that this book took over my entire life and I cannot wait to continue on with that series, it's giving me the same feeling as like Akatar and Folk of the Air gave me. I'm obsessed with it. Then I'm just filling out my February TBR. I did make a video talking about my February TBR. I will leave that linked in the description box below if you're interested, but yeah, just writing these in, keep it pretty simple. I'm just putting my Romanceopoly prompts that I pulled for February in the back pocket of my reading journal because I like to put them somewhere. And now we're getting into my Romanticiathon spread. I was experimenting with what colors I wanted to use on like a separate little sheet of paper. So that's why I taped it into the spread to remind myself what colors I wanted to use. Now, y'all know me, I love a good list because I love crossing things off of lists. So the left side, I just put the prompts and the challenges and then what books I'm planning on reading to fulfill those prompts and challenges. And then I did leave a little section 
for like other in case I wanted to add other prompts, um, anything like that. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen with this readathon. So I wanted to keep some room in case things change. And then on the right side, I just put some little... I don't know, they're kind of like sticky note boxes that I drew and I'm hoping I can take notes on the books that I'm reading throughout the readathon. And then I might glue in the covers of the books. I haven't decided yet on that right side of the page. And then I'm just adding some stickers and some sparkles. Y'all know me, I love adding hearts and sparkles and all of that to basically all of my spreads. So that's pretty much it, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you in my next one.